Hey guys, uh, it's been brought to my attention that uh, we should consider using Hall Effect sensors, and that's a pretty good suggestion, um, but it comes with a disadvantage, uh, a couple of disadvantages, and, and I'm going to go over uh, what the advantages and disadvantages are of each one. Alright, so this is just a, a regular potentiometer, and uh, in it, I'll post a, a, a wiki link for you guys to, uh, to check out so that you can, you can understand how these things uh, uh, function. But basically what it does is it takes voltage from a source and it either raises or lowers it depending on the position of, the, of this uh, shaft. And it has a slider inside and it turns that into a signal and sends it back to the circuit board uh, which interprets that signal. Okay. Um, the advantage of this, the advantage of this is that I don't have to do very much at all. All I have to do is put it right in the side plate and then wire it up, send it back to the circuit board, and that's it. That, it's that's, that's just you know it's it's pretty simple. Um, now this is a Hall effect sensor, and this functions completely different. It has no moving parts at all. Now, this, what you do with this is you have magnets on either side, okay? The magnet on this side would have its polarity facing in one direction. The magnet on this side would have its polarity facing in the opposite direction, all right? And you'd have to come up with some way to move this sensor back and forth between the two magnets. And that would, that's essentially like turning this potentiometer, okay? And that turns this, it, it, it measures those, the, the difference between the two magnets and sends that signal back to the circuit board. All right. And that's how, that's how this little tiny little sensor functions. Now, the disadvantage of this is that we don't have a mechanical device set up to allow this to function correctly in our current design. So we would have to come up with some way to incorporate this into the into the current design and, and that's going to take some time to do. It's, it's not that big of a deal but uh, we'll have to set aside some time for, for a, a little bit of a redesign on the side plates and we may even have to come up with some sort of uh, housing to house the, the magnets and uh, we may have to come up with some sort of uh, something to get this to turn uh, back and forth between the two magnets. Now that may be either difficult or it may be, you know, very simple. Uh, we'll have to see. But uh, it's been suggested that we should use these, and uh, I, I'm taking that into consideration. Um, I don't know quite yet whether or not we are going to go that route. Um, like I said, there's there's a lot of things to consider, so we have to do uh, we have to do a lot of research before we before we even. Uh, consider using these over a regular potentiometer. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to uh, make this real quick video just explaining the differences between the two and just to give you guys kind of an update of uh, where we stand on, uh, on these Hall Effect sensors. We'd like to use them. We really would. Uh, but we'll have to come up with some sort of uh, mechanism to, to make this function correctly and to make it function correctly and reliably. Uh, because we don't want, we don't want to have this uh, either come loose, and then uh, you'd be wondering why they don't they don't operate like they're supposed to. Um, there's a lot of things to consider, so we'll have to do uh, a lot of uh, testing, and of course we'll show that if we decide to uh, to go that route. So anyway, I just wanted to, to make this real quick video just to, to give you sort of an update on on that and. Just to show you uh, what this is, this is a, a this is part of the bandsaw jig, and there's a lot of things going on here uh, within the shape of it, and uh, I'll explain that um, in in greater detail once we have the bandsaw jig video complete. Okay, um, so yeah, this this just gives you an idea of of, of where we're at uh, on that particular jig, but. Uh, I'll explain exactly what's going on here in the next video, okay? Alright guys, we'll see you next time.